A horizontal rod is supported at each end by ropes 1 and 2, which are attached to the rod at points P and Q respectively, as shown in the figure. The two ropes have negligible mass, and the rod has a non-uniform mass distribution such that the rod's center of mass is at point R. Point C is the center of the rod. The rod remains horizontal. Which of the following vectors could represent the tensions T1 and T2 in ropes 1 and 2 respectively and the weight W of the rod? You can pause the video here and attempt an answer of your own. Let us first show all forces acting on the rod before we start answering the questions. We will not consider magnitudes yet. We worry only about direction and the point of application of the force. The two tensions are acting at the endpoints and are directed upwards, while the weight of the rod may be drawn at the center of mass and is, of course, downward. There are two aspects to consider in this equilibrium situation. On the one hand, there is equilibrium of forces in the vertical direction. This means the sum of the two upward forces must be equal to the magnitude of the one downward force, so that likely options cannot include A where there is a net downward force, nor D, where there is a net upward force, nor E, for the same reason. On the other hand, the net torque about any axis along the rod must be zero. In particular, consider an axis passing through the center of mass. The clockwise torque exerted by T1 must cancel with the counterclockwise torque exerted by T2. The distance from R to P is larger than the distance from R to Q. Therefore, the force at P must be smaller than the force at Q. So, T1 is smaller than T2. This means that the correct answer is option B. Thank you for watching. See you next time.